Hello students, uh, till now we get to know about that uh, voice band modems are classified into two types. One is asynchronous voice band modem and second one is what synchronous voice band modem. Uh, so now we will study about asynchronous voice band modem. Okay, sometimes asynchronous voice band modem is also called as low speed voice band modem. Why it is called low speed voice band modem? Because uh, basically asynchronous voice band modem is used in low speed data communication application or where the data transmission rate is very slow. Okay, so first uh, let's uh, go to the definition part. Uh, here uh, asynchronous voice band modem is used to transport what asynchronous data. Okay. If your voice band modem is uh, transporting or communicating what the asynchronous data, then that voice band modem will be called as what your asynchronous voice band modem. So, what is that asynchronous data? Uh, asynchronous data means uh, if your data frame contains some start bit and stop bit, okay, uh, that will be termed as what your asynchronous data, okay. Uh, next thing is that uh, it is not necessary that always uh, the uh, what asynchronous voice band modem will transmit the uh, asynchronous data only. It is also possible to transmit what synchronous data. And uh, if your voice band modem is uh, transmitting the synchronous data, then that type of asynchronous modem will be called as what isochronous uh, isochronous voice band modem or that transmission will be called as isochronous transmission okay but it has been observed that uh, it is not uh, good to use it is impractical and uh, from economic point of view it is also not uh, uh, what uh, usable uh, so basically using asynchronous uh, voice band modem we are transporting the asynchronous data not the synchronous data okay uh, then here in asynchronous voice band uh, data modem, uh, we are using uh, either uh, these two what uh, digital modulation scheme, uh, either amplitude shift king or ASK or frequency shift king uh, that is uh, called FSK. Okay, basically FSK is used. Okay, uh, as compared to ASK, FSK is used in asynchronous voice band data modem. Okay, uh, as you know that. Uh, uh, Asynchronous voice band modem is called as what? Low speed voice band modem. So here the data transmission rate is very slow. Okay, very uh, uh, less transmission rate. Uh, that is uh, uh, less than uh, 2400 kilobit per second. Okay, that is very less. And uh, your asynchronous voice band modem application area, it is used in telemetry circuit and it will also used in caller IT. Okay. Let's see uh, the block diagram of a asynchronous uh, voice band uh, what uh, uh, modem. So uh, recall that the from the general voice band uh, modem block diagram, all are same. Okay, all the blocks or the parts are same. Only the in the modulator section it is written as what your FSK modulator and carrier circuit and here is the FSK demodulator circuit. That means here the frequency shift king is used as the what uh, as a digital modulation scheme. So all the things are same. So let's uh, recall those things. So see here first your DTE is there or that is called what your data terminal equipment. Okay, that may be a computer or phone anything. Then from the DTE some digital pulses or digital information is generated and that is fed into what the serial interface circuit but the uh, here the one exception is there you know that the serial interface circuit does what it will convert the voltage or update the voltage level of the digital pulses from the DT into some another voltage level or pulses okay but that is not happened in case of asynchronous voice band modem. Here what will happen directly that digital pulse will be fed into the what FSK modulator circuit. Okay, then it will be passed to the band pass filter and pre equalizer circuit. Then it uh, uh, then uh, what uh, that analog signal will be fed into the telecommunication interface circuit. Okay, uh, that is what at the transmitter side and then it will uh, pass through the telephone uh, line or that is called the telco local loop. Okay, uh, at the 
the receiver side the analog signal is fed into the band pass filter and the post equalizer circuit then that analog signal is goes uh, is passing through the fsk demodulator circuit okay and then it will produce what the digital pulse and then through the serial interface circuit it will go to the dt present at the receiver side so that is the whole uh, working principle of a what uh, asynchronous voice band uh, modem so uh, let's see a uh, revise some points here mm. in the transmitter side already i told you here the serial data received uh, from the dt is directly applied to the fsk modulator voltage uh, uh, level change is not carried out in the serial interface circuit but that is the task of the serial interface circuit that you have studied okay but here no uh, what voltage updation or voltage level change is there directly it is fed into the fsk modulator circuit next thing is that uh, no clocking information or clock information is not required here because your fsk modulator are the voltage controlled oscillators okay which react to voltage level independent of any timing information uh, timing reference or timing information okay so uh, here your voltage level does not dependent upon uh, what any type of uh, time clock uh next thing uh, recall that from the frequency shifting uh, topic uh, about the mark frequency and the space frequency if the uh, binary one is the input or the logic level is one then it will produce a mark frequency okay and if the binary input value is zero or the logic level is zero then it will produce what a space frequency okay uh, mark frequency means the frequency value that is used to represent what the carrier signal uh, with respect to the corresponding what the bit one okay and the space frequency is the frequency value which is uh, used as the what in the carrier signal uh, to represent the bit zero okay and your fsk modulator use what single bit encoding scheme okay that means each input bit modulate the carrier independent of other data bit okay so as your digital data consist of a number of 0 and 1 bit okay so uh, for a particular 0 bit its corresponding analog uh, carrier frequency will be changed for a 1 bit its corresponding analog uh, frequency uh, what value will be changed okay so it is independent of each other bit okay uh, it is uh, not dependent upon each other okay next uh, see here i have taken one example already you know that thing uh, so if my data stream is that 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 okay so here 0 represents the voltage level 0 or the low voltage level and 1 represents the logic level 1 or the high voltage level okay so uh, see here that part is what binary input and this way this is what your analog input part so here what happens uh, uh, when your data input is 0 okay then its corresponding analog carrier signal see here here the frequency is called what your space frequency for the zero and uh, that is the low frequency value and here the frequency value is shifted okay that's why the name is frequency shifting your frequency value is changing from one value to another value okay so uh, for one uh, whenever your bit input is one then the frequency value uh, changes okay here the high frequency component is used okay that's why that is called the mark frequency basically mark means what one okay mark frequency for the one similarly here zero is there so space frequency fs fs is what space frequency fm is mark frequency okay space frequency is used okay for one the mark frequency is used in this way okay so here your single bit encoding uh, produces what an output frequency that is changing uh, or shifting at the same rate as the input data okay so here the input data rate is same as the output data rate okay and you know that the rate of change of the digital input data is called as what bit rate okay and, but the rate of the change of the output analog signal that is called as what is baud or the baud rate okay that is also called as the signal rate okay so in fsk or frequency shifting the output frequency changes uh, at the same rate as the input data rate okay so here uh, in fsk your bit rate is equal to baud that is important remember in fsk what happens your input uh, data rate or the bit rate is equal to the output data rate or or baud okay uh, so 
the minimum bandwidth that is necessary or required to propagate an FHK signal over the transmission medium is dependent upon these three factors. One is your mark frequency, then space frequency and the bit rate. Okay. Upon these three factors, your minimum bandwidth is calculated. Okay. Uh, then as you know that the modulated FSK signal is passed through what? A band pass filter and equalizer circuit. So your modulated FSK signal is band limited and it is fast P equalized and the output signal is fed into the what? A telephone line because here you are using the telephone line as our transmission media because you are using the voice band modem. Okay. Then your asynchronous at the receiver side, the asynchronous voice band modem will use a non-coherent modulation. Okay, what is the non-coherent modulation? In non-coherent modulation, what happens? Uh, carrier and clock information will not be recovered. Okay, a modulation will be called as a non-coherent modulation if in that modulation scheme the carrier and clock information will not be recovered. Okay, then. Uh, Several standard asynchronous voice point modems are designed till now for uh, what low speed data application purpose. Okay, and uh, it is taking the help of uh, switched public telephone network. Okay, sometimes it is also called as the PSTN, that is public switched telephone network or simply switched uh, public telephone network. Okay, thank you.